Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this video is all about Variant 6, Chapter 3, Quest Number 1. And I'm going to take you through what I consider to be the easiest path, but it may not be the easiest path for you. So you always want to check against your own roster uh, who you have to bring, you know, against these opponents. So I'm going to take this left path. Now, this left path, as you will see, uh, is Masochism and Power Shield. Now, as soon as I saw Power Shield, I was thinking, okay, perfect. Ghost. Okay? Ghost rocks Power Shield. The other thing, if you look on the path and you see that one-star chest, that's an indication that Kabam considers this path to be the easiest path. All right, but again, may not be the easiest for you. So you see the team that I'm going in here with, and because uh, our MODOK here is metal, I'm bringing in Magneto. Now, I'm still not used to Magneto, believe it or not. Uh, the new Magneto, he got a rework. And one thing that I've learned, and uh, you see me doing it here a little bit, is to build up the prowesses a little bit faster. What I want to do is don't hold the heavy initially. Just fire off heavies, and once I get, you know, a good little stack of prowess, then I can hold the heavies to double them. All right, so uh, that is primarily the way that I've been uh, playing Magneto. But remember, this is Power Shield, and this is a metal champion. So I want to get to his uh, special three. Now, I could have waited and, and built up uh, the prowess, and uh, it would have done even more damage. But, you know, like I said, I'm still learning uh, how to play him uh, new. But as you can see, that special three was all you needed. The shrapnel uh, damage afterwards took him out. Uh, if I had built up the prowess, it probably would have just outright killed him and saved some time. All right, so we got Modoc down pretty easy. And next up, we're gonna be fighting Domino. Now, Domino, I can take with Ghost. Uh, but you do need to, you know, change your timing up. You need to wait a little bit for her to do that double medium. Now, something I didn't mention at the beginning of the video, but for all of these variants, and if you've been watching the uh, series, you know uh, the globals. Uh, now, I want you to notice, uh, you can look back, but you saw how Ghost was just standing there phased? That's not normal. It's a bug, it happens periodically. Uh, I can't move, you know? Because what I wanna do is what you see me doing there. Wait for her to attack, double hit, go in with a medium, all right? And of course, with Domino, there's always a chance that I'm going to uh, crit fail the phase, okay? So you gotta be careful. That time I just went ahead and fired off a special one because of the extra damage from the power shield node, I knew I was gonna be able to take her out. And I didn't wanna try to build up to a special two because she was tearing me up with the crit damage, crit failure stuff. All right, so down went Domino. My ghost is a little worse for wear. Uh, but she did it. She did that thing. All right. But anyway, the global node, you can only bring in villains. Uh, well, you can bring in whoever you want for synergies or whatever. But villain champions are basically what the globals favor. All right. Um, you can look at the globals yourself. There's a degen that gets put on non villains and it will kill you very quickly. You can do a little bit of damage initially, but you're gonna die. Corvus, he's gonna die. His cheap death mechanic doesn't work. Hella, um, I think Hella is a villain, so she'll be all right. Um, but no cheap death mechanics for non-villains will work. So Corvus is cheap death, don't even try it. Um, but you can bring him and do as much damage as you can while you have the charges up, okay? So here you see me, you know, I wanted to bait that out a little bit. And again, 
I should be doing a little bit more, uh, building up his prowesses more. Uh, even with the power shield, you see, we took her to 50%. All right, now, I was holding my heavy a little bit because I didn't want her to dash back and convert all of those bleeds. Okay, that's what I was trying to keep her from uh, doing. But she seemed to be very happy to attack me. Uh, the magnetism may also have, you know, helped her. <laughs> she tried to do it in the end, but it didn't work. It didn't help. And uh, down she went. Magneto is awesome. He's an MVP for these uh, variants, for sure. All right, so uh, with her down, we're going to continue on. And uh, let me see, who was the next one? I can't remember. Ah, uh, Hit Monkey. Hit Monkey has caught me a few times. His animations, that heavy attack of his, it, it, it sometimes can uh, throw me off. So uh, I decided to go in with Dr. Doom. Now, oh wait, did I go into Dr. Doom? Who did I go in here with? I can't remember. I was thinking about going in with Dr. Doom. I remember. I was thinking about going in with Dr. Doom, but you don't want to knock Hit Monkey down. And part of Doom's rotation that I would be doing would be a heavy attack, which knocked him down. So I was going to go in with Dr. Doom. And then I said, you know what? Let's not do that. I was going to go in with Omega Red, but for the same reason, I would want to do heavy attacks to lock it in. So yeah, that's what I was uh, uh, sitting there wondering about at that point. So it's fine. We can use Ghost. Uh, but the one thing that you want to do with Ghost, you just want to make sure that you can uh, either get him down or, as you see here, you know, I just want to let those things run out a little bit and boom, finish them off with a special one. Uh, not too difficult Ghost rocks uh, for this particular uh, variant, for all the variants, uh, for that matter, all of variant six. All right, now this one here, uh, Iron Man Infinity War, I remember this fight. Uh, I kind of messed up uh, a little bit. Uh, so uh, I am very adept at fighting Iron Man Infinity War with Corvus, with Hyperion. I need to learn a little bit better how to fight him with some others. Now, uh, I have learned how to do a uh, reparry on him. And I did that on, uh, oh, which boss was it? You see, I just messed up there. But what you want to do, you want to back off into the corner, okay? And I still need to practice this, by the way. But you want to back off into the corner and see, I messed up. See, right there, I messed up. I'm not supposed to do the heavy. I was supposed to do a parry right there. Messed up, all right? So what you want to do, not that, uh, is you want to evade his initial attack and then parry. Um, now, see right there, I did it, but masochism stopped me from uh, actually getting the parry, okay? And now I saw that my health was down to 3%. May as well fire off my special and do what damage I can do. You know, it's not gonna be, you know, enough to take him out, but, you know, as much as I can. The shrapnel, not gonna do any good because I think he had uh, armor ups up. And so at this point, you know, what I could have done here is uh, build up to a special one and fire that off, okay? Um, but I'm looking at my health and I run suicides, by the way. So I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, I'm down to 2%, 2%. Can I get to that one uh, special one here? All right, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, build up this thing, all right? Evading, I'm still looking up at that uh, percentage and I'm trying to do something here that doesn't seem to be working very well, all right? And boom, I just got caught because uh, I was trying to intercept him and get to that special one so I could at least fire off a special one before I went down and it might've been able to take him out. Uh, but yeah, I just played that one poorly. All right, so now I'm like, okay, well, Doom uh, should be able to take him out pretty easily, okay? So 
Still not adept at play, uh, playing with Doom. Doom is still new to my roster. And he's not suicide friendly. Okay, Doom is not suicide friendly. So when I play with suicides, I tend not to want to fire specials off. Mainly because uh, I'll take recoil damage when I do. So a champion that relies on a lot of specials, not going to be good. All right. And I lost track of his armor ups there. And that's how I got smacked up there. Um, but here we go. We got uh, almost to a special three. All right. So at this point, just going to fire off that special three. He doesn't have any of his armor ups. So we're going to be doing a good amount of damage. Uh, Dr. Doom's special does a lot of damage anyway. Okay. Not quite enough to kill him. We got the stun. And you can see I'm still trying to get that rotation. Mac. If you're watching, I appreciate the uh, comments. Uh, Mac has been uh, giving me good rotations to do with Doom. And of course, since I run suicides, I don't tend to want to do those combinations because they would wreck me, uh, the recoil damage. But uh, I do need to practice him. Um, I do need to practice that rotation. I've seen it and it is beastly, okay? It just does not work well with suicide. All right, so at this point here, you know, I'm taking a lot of block damage, uh, but I'm trying to get uh, to the special three. All right, got to the special three, and I'm thinking this should take him down. Uh, we saw how much damage uh, Doom did to him, but look at D uh, Doom's health. Doom is, is at 15% health. And uh, did he even take a hit? Yeah, I, I got five. Um, he got me with that five-finger combo. Um, but we got him down. Now, we are fighting Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl, in uh, one fight, I remember one fight against her, uh, she caught me with a heavy attack, and it wrecked me. Uh, so I'm always watching out for that lethal tail. All right? So I'm going up against her with uh, Omega Red, mainly because, of course, Omega Red, um, I have full coagulate uh, mastery. So he takes no damage from his bleeds and, in fact, will heal from them because I have willpower. Maxed out willpower as well. All right, so loving it. And, uh, of course, with the extra uh, damage with the um, uh, specials, you may notice that... You can still do damage, non-special attacks. It's just that your special attacks do a lot more damage, but if I can keep those spores on her, uh, that does a lot of damage as well. But I'm not doing a good job of keeping the spores. Um, that masochism, that's why I said that this path may not be the easiest for everyone. Masochism is an annoying node, but the power shield, can make this path very very easy all right so um bring in your villains who do a lot of uh debuffs maybe for the masochism or have very powerful special attacks and uh you'll have an easy time on this path as long as you know how to fight uh these champions and you see how she's just spamming that special one on me and i can evade it it's really weird because i have to dash back early to evade her uh, special one and it always looks like I'm gonna uh, miss see that's why I just block because I'm always wary of that okay and so we're just basically trying to uh, kind of slow play it a little bit uh, I, I would like to push it to her special two I won't mind because I can evade her special two all right there we go just get on out of the way no problem um, she didn't have any spores on her, so that heavy attack was useless. All right, but I want to get some spores on her a little bit. There we go. We got 12, 11, 10, 11, 12. There we go. 13. It went back down to 12. But the special three will heal me if I don't kill her right off with the special three uh, based on the number of spores that she has on her. But you see how it's pausing there? That is what the game was doing, okay? Look at that um, health coming back. 
Not a lot, but it's nice. Uh, and so I was getting some lag and I said, you know what? That might be uh, what was causing me some issues uh, earlier. So I'm going to reset the game, I believe uh, before the boss fight, which I think is after this fight. All right, you see how I evaded that one? And I'm always wary of it because it looks like I evade too early and I'm about to get run over by all those squirrels, but it evades. So that was a rather long fight, longer than I was anticipating it to be. Um, I could have gone in there with Ghost and uh, she would have uh, uh, taken that fight uh, faster. Uh, but I hadn't used Omega Red at all. All right, so we're about to fight the boss here. And as I said, I'm going to uh, restart the game. I won't make you sit there and watch. All right, so um, we'll look at the nodes here that we've got to deal with. You see the globals that I was talking about there. You got the Mastermind, Henchman, the Biohazard, uh, Heavy Hitter, Dash Vulnerability, which is nice. Uh, and he's more aggressive. Now, this is probably the hardest boss in the variant. Okay, so I've already restarted the game and I'm putting on a little boost, you know, not, not too much. And remember I told you that you don't want to bring in non-villains. You're going to see what happens if you do. All right, so what I'm doing here, I just want to do as much damage as possible. And this is why I hate fighting him. You see him purifying? Oh, that throws me off so much. And it seems like, yeah, he's, he purifies and I couldn't get a, a combo in there. But you'll notice that Wasp, um, that was a nice 15k combo, but he's got such a long special. I'm dead before he finishes his special. It's ridiculous. It's a seven hit combo. Um, but you see, villains uh, are the only ones that's going to gain power. So you bring in your hero. She's not going to gain power. He's not going to gain power. Uh, no no non-villain is going to uh, gain power. You're going to get that degen. You're going to die. All right. So this is also Biohazard. Now, I find this new version of Daredevil much more annoying to fight. That Purify, like that, catches me, I can't tell you how often. Because I fought Agent Venom, and he does a similar thing, where he will uh, shrug off, you know, the tenacity. That tenacity seems to work differently than this. I can handle that tenacity. If I'm going in fast enough... I can do it. But this one, I actually delayed it one time. And what did he do? He waited until I attacked, then he purified and attacked at the same time. That ain't cool. All right. All right. So here we go. I was in the corner. I didn't want to be there. Caught him with a knee. Look at this. I'm just trying to get in there. All right. Boom. Some damage. Ghost. She rocks this. Now you see that I phased. That's because I'm used to doing it. I did not bring Hood in here, if I remember correctly. Now look at that, got caught with that. If I hadn't got caught with that, this fight might have gone a little bit differently. See, look at this, all that damage, still. Four, five, six, seven, seven hits. And I'm like, yeah, got him. Boom, he caught me with a foot, and that was it. I was so mad. It's all because I don't have his um, uh, 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 animations down yet. He caught me with that foot because I was not expecting the double hit. All right? Because I've fought him so much and he has just recently reworked. So I was mad about that. So I said, all right, I'm going to bring in uh, Doom. I didn't have to um, heal him up, but just in case. All right, you see, I just waited for that, right? And, and that's all it took. I didn't need to heal up, um, but I didn't want anything to happen. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Hopefully it helps you in your run. Take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video, whether it helped you out or not. Let me know. And you all have a blessed day. <laughs>